Hey guys, it's TV back with another video and in this video, I'm going to show you how to control your PC games wirelessly using just your smartphone, just like what you see here. Now, the interesting thing is that you can actually create your own gamepad like this one that I made for Call of Duty, this one for PES and this one for NFS Most Wanted. So, let's see how to set this up. Now, if you just love what you see and if you want to catch my more videos, then subscribe and also make sure to hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when I post my new videos. Now, let's get started. Now, for controlling your PC games using your smartphone, for that, firstly just go to Play Store and then search for an app called PC Remote. This one. So, this is the app that you want to install. Just install this. After that, you need to install a software version of the same in your computer. So just go to Google and then type PC Remote. PC Remote. Now click here on the first link called Monang PC Remote. Now this is the software that you want to download. Just click download. Now this software is available for Windows only. So click here on download and then download the zip file. After your file is downloaded, just go to the file location and then extract this file. Now just install this as a normal software. Now just click next, I agree and just install this. Now after you install the software, the next thing you need to do is to connect your phone to your PC. For that just open this PC remote app and then click here on connect. Now you can connect your mobile either by using a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or by using a USB cable. But when you're using a USB cable, make sure that you turn on your USB debugging in your phone. And in case when you're using a Wi-Fi network, make sure that you connect both your laptop and your mobile to a same Wi-Fi network. Now in my case what I do is I'll just turn on my mobile's hotspot and then connect my laptop with that hotspot. So just let me connect it. After you connect your laptop to your mobile's hotspot, then you can see your laptop's name. Now click on the laptop's name to complete your connection. Now in case if you don't see your device name, then you can also complete your connection by scanning a QR code. Just click here on generate QR code, then tap here, and then just scan this QR code, and that's it, your connection is completed. Now after you set all these things, now let's actually control our PC games using our mobile. For that just go to layout section and this is the region where you can see different different pre-installed gamepads like this one for shooting, this one for GTA and there are plenty more. Now I'm going to play PES and I'm going to use this Xbox gamepad as a controller for my game. Now before you actually start the game, make sure that you change the controller settings of the game. So let me just go to settings and then just go to the controls and then select the device as Monant head device. Now the last thing that you need to do is to cross check whether all your buttons are working properly. For that just press on the button and when you press on the button you will see that the corresponding button will blink on the screen. Now A blinks on the screen and in case of B, B also blinks X and Y. So this all buttons are working properly. Now this one is also working properly and this is also working properly. Now in case if any other button is not working properly, example this one. Now when I press this one, nothing blinks on the screen. So what I'll do is I'm going to assign this button as this one. So I'm going to click here and then just click this button. And now as you can see that this button is assigned to as this one. So that's it. Every button are working properly. Now just click OK and that's it. Now you can just open your game and enjoy your game. Now in case of racing games like NFS, just do the same. Just go and change the controller settings. Now one thing to notice here is that for making your steering working, for that just tap here and then you are ready to go. Now in case if you feel that your steering is too sensitive, then you can always edit your sensitivity of the steering by just going to the layout section and 
tap and hold the gamepad that you want to edit just click edit after that tap here on the settings icon and then click edit now after that you can just increase or decrease your sensitivity and set it as you wish now if you're keeping this closer then you have to tilt less for turning your vehicle now in case if you're keeping this wider then you have to tilt more for turning your vehicle now you can also edit the other buttons of the gamepad so for editing any of the button just tap here on the settings icon and then click here on edit and then you can edit the name add icon and its position x and y position and even the width and height of the button and also you can delete this button now instead of actually editing and reinstall gaming layout you can actually create your own gaming layout for that just hit on this plus icon and then pick whether you need a portrait layout or a landscape layout and then click here on edit mode and then you can add buttons joystick trackpad sensor etc so tap here on which control you need and then edit this whole thing as you need now after your editing is done then just save your gaming layout now this is the gamepad that i made for call of duty so that was it for our video now if you have any question regarding this all thing let me know in this comments below and if you just like this video hit that like button and also if you want to catch my more videos then hit the subscribe button and also make sure to hit the bell icon and turn the permission to all so that you get notified each time when i post my new videos so it's dv signing off and i will catch you guys in my next one